Hello everyone, this is another session from the Yoho Git series. So in this session, we'll be talking about how to resolve the conflict. So consider example, multiple people are working on your, uh, basically uh, in your team, in your particular project, and there are certain changes which are done in the same file, right? So generally we get conflict, how to resolve that. So before we start, I'm Chirag Goel, you engineer Flipkart. You can follow me on any of the platform using engineer Chirag as a handle. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to consider like we are in develop branch and in this, this develop branch, someone have merged their feature and that feature is, is having some changes in a2.tsx. So I'm going to directly make those changes over here for the sake of presentation. And basically you can consider these changes were made some in some feature file and that feature file, feature branch basically and that feature branch got merged. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm mentioning this file got modified over here. And I'm saying modified a2 dot tsx. I'm going to commit that inside the same dot commit. Let's quickly go into the local and considering we are a2 dot tsx file status, we are on a different feature branch. So what we wanted to do, we want to make modification. Maybe accidentally we are making a modification in the same file. So what I did. I uh, added a dot, like made the changes in the same line and added few more lines. So I'm not aware what are the changes which are done either in the same line, lines or the different line. This is my code snippet altogether. So adding second line over here, let's save it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add it. Get commit minus M. Changed a2 dot Okay, what I'm going to do now consider example I want the changes which are available inside the developed branch I want those changes to be a picked in my branch So I'm going to take a git pull Origin from the remote and I want to pull the developed branch Okay, we can see there is a conflict so how to resolve this conflict? Where are the conflict? Basically, you can see these are the arrows, uh, like greater than, smaller than arrows are present. And these will show, this is the file changes which are present in your local, and these are the file changes which are present on the remote. Now it's up to you what you want to pick. So for us, for me basically, I want to keep this modified text over here with a dot, maybe whatever code you, you want to, to uh, keep. And this is the second line I want to keep. So this is the final version which I want to keep. Now it's clean. Let's quickly do a git status. Git status. You come here. And we can see there is a file change. What I'm going to do, git commit minus m. Resolve conflicts, basically. Okay. Because you have unmerged file changes, let's quickly see what is the current status. Okay. This file was picked, right? Yes, I'm going to add. I'm now going to commit this file and git push origin to my feature branch which is this now our branch is updated with the development and develop branch and basically we have pushed our changes to remote as well so this is how basically you resolve the conflict so or if there are conflict in multiple files you will see those conflict available in the terminal and you can open those files. you will see those uh, smaller than greater than arrows snippet basically where you can see what is the changes which are present on your local and what are the changes which were uh, present in the other branch from where you are actually doing a pull or the rebase kind of thing so yeah that's it so if you like the session don't forget to like it comment for any of the question do share it and don't forget to subscribe it so thank you